Hi, welcome to the first uh, teaser about Arch Merge. We're gonna start our virtual box here and see what happens if you pop in this new release, which is gonna be called 6.0 or Kirk. So when we press with this nice logo of Arch Merge, you can get those logos at archmerge.com and then you can change them from color or apply a shade or anything. It's up to you. It's an SVG. I want to share, uh, share that with you so you can be creative. So this is what we get when we have this live CD that you can pop in or a live USB. You are starting with XFCE already pimped as you can see. All icons look good and it is a little bit transparent here. And we have Plank available which is, has a nice look and the icons bounce up and down. So these are all pretty set. And here is our Conky. He has to read a lot of information, so that's why he's a little bit later. So, we're going to choose our language, whatever language you prefer. This is not the, the work of uh, ArchMerge. This is Calamares, and Calamares is a project, and we are very happy that this exists because it's our easy to install Arch Linux kind of thing. So, we look here where we are. So I am Eric de Bois, huh? I am from Brussels and Belgium and we're gonna choose this one and I'm the only one maybe with um, a Zerti so I need another one not QWERTY and I'm gonna erase everything. That's my best advice, don't do dual boot and all that, don't make it your life complicated. So just type this, I'm gonna type my reference for the moment, for the moment that's the version but we're gonna get that 6.0 in 14 days 1st of October we're gonna launch it so this is what we get and we have here some information uh, welcome to Arch Merge what is Arch Merge? I want to merge something I want to merge XFC4, Openbox i3 in one distro and the vision is we are all learning Linux is not that uh, easy to start with so my idea is people start first with XFC4 and if you master that and you find your way around and you say okay I'm gonna try this open box thing you will notice it's completely different you have to you feel a beginner again and you're investigating and exploring that desktop environment and if you found all that and you go to i3 then again you feel, feel, feel like a noob because i3 is again a total different desktop environment so the the experience is important behind this Arch Merge launch experience the Linux desktop environments there are three in one and it's increasing more and more increasingly difficult XFC Openbox i3 that's the ideal roadmap to learn uh, Linux I think while waiting for that uh, what else can I say maybe we'll follow the text here so we have three logos xfce this is i3 and this is open box in the meantime um you can check out some information here what is he doing and calamaris is the program that's running here variety is interesting because variety is giving a wallpaper just uh, press this button here ask for a next wallpaper and then you get another wallpaper and so on and so on um, plank is this one plank is always a difficulty in, in the sense that people ask how do you change these things you have to know it you have to press ctrl right mouse click and then you get these preferences and then you can say well i don't want it to be that kind of look i want to be something something else here so if the best of the best but uh, even then there are about 100 themes that i have on my github so um, there are more but this is uh, the best uh, selection all right so that's that that's why it's zooming here i can zoom like so and i can the size and where you want to put it you want to put it on the top if you like it there then it's gonna be there almost done 83 percent so it's up to you just take a timer and, and see how fast it installs this is now done everything is um, installed just 
uh, use the timer and see on YouTube how fast this operating system installs and boots. You'll find it's about at eight or nine seconds and then Arch Linux with all uh, Arch Merge with all its uh, extras is there. This is what you get. So um, Arch Merge, we have um, a con key, we have a blank and we have our menu. This is for the normal Windows user coming for the first time to Linux. I think they will find his way around. Here are some preferences you should look at. And when you want to quit, you just quit here and you get this pop up and you decide what you do. Um, this is maybe something you should get rid of. Save sessions for future logins. Cancel, otherwise he'll remember everything that you um, you say when when programs were open, he'll pop, he'll uh, open them again. It's whether you like it or not. Okay, so this is XFC. Let's make it a little bit better in virtual box, a virtual screen. Resize it to the normal one, two, three, four, five. No, he's not doing it. It should change it's the resolution. Let's try again. No, let's control. Okay, control F and control F again. He needs to change it to my resolution, and that's this one. Did I take the correct one? Now he has done something, and now I can press control F. So this is the complete screen, no black borders here on top. So this is what you get when you boot, and um, then you're gonna log out. You say, okay, I know everything about XFCE. Now I'm gonna go to open box. So up here, you can choose the things you have. You don't need this one. So we're gonna go for open box. And now we're gonna learn that. It's gonna look a little bit different. You can get rid of these messages. Don't show it gone. So there's one update available. And we have the same things here. But it's more minimal in the sense that um, in the sense that the right mouse click provides you now with a menu there's no buttons here or there or anywhere it's just right mouse click and here is everything for the arch levers so um, arch merge has arch labs has been forked into arch merge and arch labs minimo for the arch levers coming to arch merge we have done made a change. OB menu generator is standard now, and we have uh, generate the pipe menu as a standard option. So anything you install is gonna be in here. Anything you uninstall will be gone. So that's uh, an advantage. And then if you know everything here, then you go to log out again, and you go to I3, and I3, as you'll see, is again completely different exercise or uh, desktop environments you have here here are these workspaces one two eight and you have ten workspaces and they're all divided into applications the browsers will get here here will be the text editors in eight the file manager and so on but that's for other tutorials this is just a teaser so this is what you get and windows super e for exit Yes, exit i3, and we're back on the login, and you can choose again whatever you want. Okay, so um, 14 days, and then uh, at the 1st October, we'll launch our Arch Merch Kirk. Ciao for now.